actually when the when the day come true, maybe around some um, ten of September, such as the thing is so who has around it, then actually we we did expect something will happen now. But the time we, we get to know is okay. Um, is my want to shoot us? Want to shoot the reporter? Yeah, who wrote that articles so, and those such things. Uh, but I'm not ready for that, uh, But in fact, when the police did came to my house, uh, I said, okay, <laughs> finally, mm -hmm. this is the final step. They they, they came to me. Then mm -hmm. I said, okay, uh, maybe the thing will be finished. So you mm -hmm. thought that you would be going to a normal lockup and all that. Were mm -hmm. you aware that it's a I, I say detention? Yes, I aware because when the time they came to my house, they say uh, want me to follow them back to the uh, IPD. I said, okay, please then show me your warrant first, mm -hmm. else I won't follow your guys mm -hmm. go. Then uh, they said, we don't have warrant. Hey, you don't have warrant. Then I can't open the door for you. Yeah, this is the procedure, right? So finally they. They show me the notice of ISA saying that okay you are been arrested under the reason okay you wrote the article saying Amma is Amma saying that okay orange in Penumpang di Malaysia blah 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 it's already uh, 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 already how to say you you the report is make the public so um and anxiety you know yeah mm -hmm. the reason but do you think that people were very Filled with anxiety and anger and all that, do you feel that it was justified? Um, if we uh, went through the the newspaper, you know, I think those who are most anxiety maybe is from the political <laughs> side, you know, the political <laughs> party. Yeah, I got some NGOs and um, some Petubohan like uh, the Chinese uh, associations. Yeah, they they do show they are um, unsatisfied to Ahmad Ismail. This is what we can feel, uh, Yeah. Mm. So they, they took you from your home, you are, you are staying in where? Bukit Matajam. So Bukit Matajam, where did they take you to Penang, Petani Road? Uh, not yet. They uh, uh, brought me to the IPD Bukit Matajam first, mm -hmm. yeah, in the Bandar Perda. Mm -hmm. Then maybe I stay um, there is around 2 hours. Mm -hmm. huh? 2 hours then they sent me to, brought me to the IPD island. Uh -huh. That so, time is already 12 midnight. So after that, you mm. were sent to the... Mm. After that, yeah, they, I thought they want to uh, take my statements or anything on that night, but mm. they said, no, you go rest. Mm. And uh, uh, in the lockup, the first room, number one, <laughs> <laughs> lockup room, yeah, number one. Yeah, so they said, okay, uh, then they asked me, you want to meet your parents tomorrow? I said, sure, I want, because that time, I request, I want to make a call for my lawyer mm -hmm. and um, uh, through my family, they don't allow. They say, okay, you'll be patient, we will be arrange all the things for you. Mm -hmm. You can feel that you can't do anything, you know, you, you even you make a request, but seems like they have a right to yeah. to refuse your, your request. Mm -hmm. But they were all very nice to you? They treat me politely. And uh, what, what clothes do you have to wear then? Do you have to no, go through the usual the time and all that? No, no need, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just uh, when the time they caught me, yeah, just I... Still oh, wearing them. Mm. Mm -hmm. so, so I stay a night there. Then in the, the next day, I met my parents. Then they said, "Okay, we get ready go to Bukit." I only aware is some um, uh, when the time uh, they want to brought me to the IPD islands and I depart from the Bukit Tengah. Uh, mm -hmm. No, the Bukit Matajang IPD. Then I mm -hmm. saw, I mm -hmm. saw a lots of friends. Uh, mm -hmm. They are outside. So that time is quite touch you know because mm -hmm. I, I I stay calm inside the IPD so the the police women say that hey how come you so steady yeah uh? mm -hmm. yeah but when the time I saw so crowd outside there then I feel quite a touch you yeah. know that yeah that time I cried they saw me cry <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but afterwards um they, they brought me to the island mm -hmm. then they actually they make a call they want to <laughs> confirm that okay mm -hmm. the entrance is no Anybody was outside the entrance. No, any reporters were outside the entrance. Mm -hmm. So when the time I, I, uh, they drove into the the IPD. Actually, is nobody outside there. So I, mm -hmm. I just didn't see any anybody lah. Uh, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. So the next morning when you were taken to, mm -hmm. so okay. did you have a good night's sleep during that? Uh, <laughs> I think this is the first time in my life uh, I faced the. Uh, Insomnia, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I can sleep well every night one, but the first time you look up because you got so many things one to think, you know, you, you knew that okay, you are detained under the ISA, mm -hmm. you know, the longest one is yeah, yeah, they'll be detaining you 60 days or mm -hmm. 
indefinite duration we don't know right mm -hmm. so I just keep telling myself okay what you have to do okay, you, you were detained before Teresa Ko or after Teresa Ko? before before uh, Raja, Raja Petra me and then Teresa oh. Ko so at mm. that time I'm sure you were thinking of a lot of very scary That's a lot things. you know I said that okay how I want to go go through this life you know because maybe you will be in the mm -hmm. lockup for okay 60 days or a year mm -hmm. and you just felt that come on I just do my job only mm -hmm. and now I was slept inside the lockup you know mm -hmm. you feel very sad about this thing but I also keep telling myself okay when Cheng you have to sleep because you have to make sure that you have a clear mind mm -hmm. to face the following days mm -hmm. or maybe the days of the days mm -hmm. So what is the lockup inside like? Do they have beds or they sleep on the cement no, floor? A, no, no, not a cement, it's a wood bed but uh, there's no any uh, dilams or anything, there's no such thing. No, 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 anything, wood. just yeah. one piece of wood. Mm. Then is the toilet also inside? Yeah, inside there. So after, since you are still a reporter, after that I'm sure, have you met up with Ahmad Ismail? Is the one who, who, who started? No. You haven't seen him before? Don't have. So chance. if there is any chance of you seeing him, what would mm. be your feelings? Do you still feel angry or anything like that? No, actually I I didn't angry about Ahmad Ismail because I think everybody is have their right to mm. speak up their mind, you know. Mm. Yeah, I respect you have a right to, to voice up anything. But um just be honest lah. If you if you have spoke something then you'll be honest. I, I don't think that I angry mm. to Ahmad Ismail, no. So after all this experience, what, what did it teach you? Are you now more cautious of what you write? Does it make you and your reporters a group of friends more cautious? Uh, I don't think so. I think everybody just do still like normal, you know, mm -hmm. and you just back to normal and mm -hmm. uh, you just... I don't think that... Um, I don't think that I have any changes of myself or my friends, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because everybody just saying that, okay, this is the experience. Mm -hmm. But nothing changed to myself. Mm -hmm. I just What's the most uh, uh, saddest part about it that, you, that really give you... Mm, sad, right? Huh? When, when you're inside the lockup, I think this is the most mm -hmm. sad, you know, because when the time you in the lockup, you are alone, mm. okay? Nobody come and asking you questions and and you have to think what what's of my future. Mm -hmm. okay. There's no window and no. is the bar there? Uh, you can look out or... or no. <laughs> well, it's no. totally... <laughs> it's totally, yeah, got a, a, a very small window but it's already got some... Maybe they have put something there so you can't look outside. So it's a total white wall. Mm. It's a total white wall. Mm. So what, what makes you strong that, that you, you keep on feeling very brave about it? Mm. Because I believe that um, uh, you, you, have, you, you didn't do anything wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Then you also very confident that your friends um, or your fellows outside will be find something for you. Mm -hmm. And since everybody outside there is very strong out there, because I saw them when the time I, mm -hmm. I depart to the islands, right? Mm -hmm. they, they all very strong, then I have tell myself that then I have to be strong too mm -hmm. or else one you how you want to get through because the hardship is not yet arrived you know yeah <laughs> that time I just keep telling myself mm. okay the hard the, the most hard time is not arrived yet so you have to keep myself strong I'm sure you feel a lot of things in I feel a lot not not um not just only Teresa caught you know mm. I feel that quite a lot still in the county mm. you know then yeah really when the time you 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 face by yourself you know you you are involved in mm -hmm. then you only will, will know that that time you really very helpless nobody mm -hmm. can help you mm -hmm. so i just hope that that's why i hope that okay this isa should abolish and mm -hmm. please let them out mm -hmm. if you feel that they're guilty please mm -hmm. let them go to the courts charge them yeah charge them right